All right, boys, so today we're gonna be talking all about abilities. And now this is actually one of the more important videos. I get a ton of questions about what the best strategies are for abilities. I'm gonna be going over some of my favorite. Now, offense, we are gonna in total have three. And also in this video, okay, if say you run a different quarterback than what I say, just think of it as abilities, not necessarily a player one-to-one, -one, right? We are actually gonna get it started today with offensive line. What? I know. These are some players that I think are must-have. So in my opinion, I think Andrew Whitworth right now, his Super Bowl pass card in particular i would recommend using a lighted up token on him and running secure protector for zero and that really does have to do with the quarterback change as well and that is why i think we have a new best quarterback because you now have that flexibility if you were running it say on doug williams put it on andrew whitworth secure pro for zero and at right tackle right here we're going to go ahead and have rob havenstein right here again he's a right tackle you buy this card you upgrade him with a 93 overall ginky force player and he is also going to go ahead and get secure protector for zero ap and finally right here at center we're actually going to play someone out of position we're gonna play quentin nelson right here and this in my opinion you know the offensive ap went from eight to nine this is why we're updating this video and we got a ton of new players so in my opinion that's where secure protector for one that's gonna be our leftover one ap so we have three secure pros right here and also post up on our center big q quentin nelson right here and this is just a base i think every single team in a dream world would have this and now we're gonna talk about quarterback quarterback there's three different options i think and they're sort of kind of like an in between with patrick Mahomes, but first off right here we're gonna go with probably the simplest one it's gonna be mobile quarterback so bo jackson right here his abilities weren't loading in the lineup builder but let's talk about what i would run on him just as a base right here we're gonna go ahead and run the gunslinger for zero the set feed lead for two in total right there that is two ap we then have the how round master ability for three ap that is five ap and also gift wrapped uh right here for six ap i do get a lot of questions about gift wrapped i disagree with the people that say it's not necessary anymore i understand why people say that but in my opinion gift wrapped is just a don't get cheated ability this prevents basically all random drops you can highball everything they won't drop it also when your receiver makes a diving catch they won't drop it and also i think it gives a major boost to contested catching so i am all aboard the gift wrap train still and right now we are currently spending seven out of our nine ap with just the base quad stack now one thing you can do this is how I like to play to again deal with all these unstoppable forces on the defensive line all these d-line x factors you can put a roaming dead eye on Bo Jackson and you can get out the pocket you can just let go of sprint you can blue every single pass which is basically a green light in 2k the perfect pass you can get and that right there would be all nine of your AP but we do have some zero AP abilities we're going to cover with like some receivers and stuff and that's what we're going to talk about first so the roaming dead eye offense right here what else are we using on, uh, besides Bo Jackson right again what else can we do we don't really have any AP to spend we have nine AP AP in total on Bo Jackson and Big Q. So what can we do? We try to get zero AP abilities everywhere. And at running back right here, someone we can run is also, guess what? Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson right here gets zero AP evasive, which still makes him one of the best running backs in the game for sure. I think getting a zero AP evasive, zero AP jukebox is just absolutely crazy. So I love that on the Bo Jackson. Now receiver right here, we currently have um, one X factor and that's going to be on this Bo Jackson. I would recommend running the Truz. So we have two X factors we could potentially use. Who do I think are really good X Fact the receivers. Well, first one, Darius Hayward Bay. He gets yak him up for zero AP, which again, after nine plays, kind of like the Truss, gonna break the first tackle every time. I don't know if you guys have played against yak him up, but that ability is annoying. Another X factor we could do, we could potentially get someone like Michael Irvin as well. Michael Irvin right here, this time gets to double me, and it can get counter first like KOs in the game, but it insta wins versus man press, so they really can't man press you. And I just think that's so valuable. So I still really like double me a lot. And then also at a wide receiver three, besides just an X factor, we can get a really good zero AP ability with Justin Jefferson this time, wide receiver, the LTD compass. And again, it doesn't have to be a one to one. We got Ginky force cards like Devontae Adams, DK, uh, Derwin James that get grab and go and third down threat. Justin Jefferson this time gets short elite for zero AP or deep elite, which is deep in, deep out. Again, short elite, short in, short out for zero AP and also gets third down threat as well. So he gets some crazy zero AP abilities. And then a tight end right here, we can go ahead and run Kyle Pitts that again, fully upgraded gets grab and go third down threat so he's a beast and now a left guard right here we can go ahead and play some people out of position we just want zero ap abilities right here like greg van roden we can go ahead and run a natural talent for zero and then on dexter lawrence we can go ahead and get identifier for zero ap i think this is all really really valuable and we have abilities on every single player now now this is the first setup now let's talk about how this changes let's say you have a mobile quarterback like bo jackson spending six ap for the quad stack but you're more of a pocket passer right so what that does is that frees up two ap how 
how I would spend that AP is uh, one of two ways. Either full send the secure pros on the offensive line with like Bruce Matthews and again, Greg Van Roten. Uh, both get secure pro, uh, protector for one AP. Or what I'd say to do, okay, we can go ahead and get them out the lineup. We can now then run angry runs on Bo Jackson for one AP that after nine plays will be on the entire game. I think that is crazy. So I really like that on Bo. And again, we can keep the Yakim up. We can keep the double me on Michael Irvin as well. And we still have one more AP to spend. Again, you could go just one secure pro. I don't hate it. Or you could get a one AP ability on the tight end. And this time right here, we'll remove Kyle Pitts and we will add Bo Jackson this time. He can get short and elite for one AP that I just think, again, the, the things I would run, just try to beat man coverage when uh, other times they wouldn't. So short and elite still think does a great job versus man. And you can also add red zone threats as well, like potentially Aiden Hutchinson, like getting, getting zero AP uh, red zone threat. I think he's a beast as well. He can be a mainstay in the lineup. Next thing we're going to cover is kind of a wild AP setup, and it might be a little bit overkill, but this time right here, we're going to go all out pocket passing, and we're going to go ahead and uh, spotlight Troy Aikman right here. So the reason why we'd use Troy Aikman, okay, let's go ahead and take a look at his card. Backer QB pass elite, in my opinion, it doesn't affect anything. Not going to be the reason why we do this, but what he can get, okay, he can get Sefi lead gunslinger for one AP, and then he can get gift wrapped for two AP. Currently right now, that would be us spending three out of our nine AP. What can you do to make that work with Troy Aikman? Well, he can go ahead and say, we're going to stack zero AP apprentices everywhere. So you know what? Instead of Bo Jackson this time, we'll just use Marshawn Lynch that does go ahead and get that angry runs ability. It starts on for five plays, off for five plays, but he also gets zero AP RB apprentice. And you know what? As well, guess what? We have Michael Irvin and Darius Hayward Bay that get zero AP wide receiver apprentice, meaning whether they're on the outside Outside the inside they'll get every single hot route so we're gonna add one more zero ap wide receiver apprentice and someone that you can spend a little bit more but i really like jawan jennings right here the uh the division dynasty card six foot three as well and he can go ahead and get wide receiver apprentice and red zone threat for zero ap so right now we have essentially made how route master you know what just so happens that bo jackson also gets zero ap tight end apprentice so we have created how route master with just two ap spent so far and it's just gift wrapped on Troy Aikman now what else can you add right here again this is a little bit overkill right so I would say for sure secure pros secure pros secure pros and again we're going all out pocket passing so that right there is now five out of our nine AP I believe I don't believe I uh what's called misadded so what else do you really need what else can we really add I mean we can add like short and elite here and there uh we can do that on Bo Jackson like you you, you could add some of that stuff what you could do as well this is something that I think could be uh, pretty beneficial to you we can go ahead and run on Troy Aikman potentially maybe a pocket dead eye and protected blue on every throw and you also protected will give the offensive line all day so meaning secure pro should win off the jump and then after that protected should like work and then it should it, it should in theory give you a lot of time in the pocket right and this should be a great way to counter the unstoppable forces and again you got like kind of like a weird hybrid with Mahomes where you can also do this build Howard Master with him or you could do like the Bo Jackson sack so yeah this is uh, again a little bit overkill you can spend uh, AP points elsewhere too other things I may be on the lookout for maybe post up on the tackles as well so meaning you'll get double you'll get great double team blocks with the tackle tight end you'll get a great double teams block with the left tackle left guard you know again this lineup right here is a little bit overkill with the abilities now i am putting this at the end of the offensive ap section because there is a new card that i do want to go over that uh will take quentin nelson's spot because he just got revealed after i recorded like tonight so that is going to be none other than jason kelsey's uh tribute card right here the 99 and what makes this card crazy is he will get secure protection protector for zero AP, which is great. And you can also run identifier linchpin or all day all for zero. Or also remember what we were talking about with Troy Aikman. You can now run a Vanguard for three AP, which is kind of crazy on the center too. You could do some things where I believe you can't, it might only be tackles, but I think you can play offensive lineman at tight end. I don't know if you would be able to get that. I don't know if you would be able to do that, but this is pro this is the best center in the game. And also what that changes is big, uh, big Q would just be the left guard right here with zero AP post up for the entire lineup. Up. And now we're going to talk about the defensive side of the ball. The defensive side of the ball is all about philosophy. So what I mean by that is, are you using coverage X factors or D line X factors? Yes, I know we're talking about X factors. That is where we are at in this game. So do I think there's a right or wrong answer right there? In my opinion, no, I think there's justification to run either or, and I think both can be great for you. It's just your preference. Now I will say with the coverage X factors, the reason why that's kind of crazy, in my opinion, it's not necessarily because the coverage X factors are overpowered. It's the fact that you get coverage abilities 
everywhere else. Like D-line X factors, your, your linebackers or like sub linebackers, slot CBs may be a little bit lacking with their KOs so they won't KO everything. That's really where I think the coverage X factors stand out. But first things first, we're going to go over the D-line X factors. Now for me, I'm just going to use right in defensive tackle left in as the example. Okay. So at right in right here, we are going to have George Karloftis still. He gets the Colossus or Unstoppable Force for one AP. I would run Unstoppable Force over Colossus now. It's they'll do basically the same thing. I don't think you'll see a major difference, but they're both one AP now. And we're going to spend one AP across the board on defensive line. We're also going to have Harrison Phillips as well right here that gets Colossus for one AP or Unstoppable Force. So after nine plays, that's going to be on the entire game. And also we're going to have Warren Sapp. I think this is probably the best trio of uh, players on the defensive line with X Factors because all of them are essentially going to be on the entire game, especially Sapp and Karloftis. Harrison Phillips takes a little bit of time to charge up, but this is what I'm thinking right now for the three deal on X Factor. So in total right now, we are spending three out of our 11 AP. So that means we're not going to go ahead and have coverage X Factors, obviously, right? We already talked about that. So three X Factors right here. What are we going to do on the outside corner spot? I'm a big believer of playing people out of position. So in my opinion, we're going to go ahead and play Rashad Jones right here. Rashad Jones gets that deep out and mid zone combo for one AP. Really, really crazy. So we're going to play Rashad Jones right here. And this is an outside corner spot. We want that deep out mid zone stack for as cheap as possible. And we can also play Tariq Woolen right here as well. That is six foot four and he's 98 sweet. I think he's a better card than Devontae Adams or Derwin. Uh, he is missing the pick artist, but does get deep out and mid zone this time for two AP. So in total right now with our outside corners and our defensive line, we have spent six out of our 11 AP. Free safety, strong safety, dream world. We'd have deep zone, mid zone. So at free safety one right here, we are going to have uh, Justin Simmons that does get that deep zone KO mid zone combo for two AP. And then finally right here, we can go ahead and play someone like say Herb Adderley. It doesn't have to necessarily have to be Herb Adderley, but deep zone KO mid zone for three AP. And that right there is how we're spending our AP. But again, we still have a, a lot of players in the game that get zero AP abilities. So how I would spend that as a slot CB, if you need them, right? I would say Patrick Sertain. Patrick Sertain gets that pick artist and flat zone combo for zero AP. This is someone that is going to be on the team no matter what. I think it's the best slot CB in the game. And besides that, really, uh, for a slot CB, in my opinion, I just say zero AP pick artist. So DRC, Fine. If you want to use DRC, Bo Jackson CB, zero AP pick artists besides that. And now we got sub linebackers right here as well. This is essentially just lurk artists players. As a user, this is going to go ahead and say the same. It is either Isaiah Simmons or it is uh, what's called Bo Jackson. I think they both have an argument for the best user in the game. So they're going to be our middle linebacker one and two. And as an outside linebacker, we can go ahead and have that same exact stack. And again, we're playing someone out of position. And I'm not including Zayvon Collins because what's not able, he's not obtainable yet, but he would be on here. And Tremaine Edmonds this time, again, Again, lurk artist secure tackler combo on him and finally for the last spot right here again just a lurk artist to finish to patrick willis so this is how i would set it up uh just d line x factors we got all the ko's we need on our secondary pieces the only thing lacking right here is the uh the ko's on the linebackers so now we're gonna go ahead and say we are full sending the ko's or the coverage x factors my bad on that so what we're gonna do is Again, PS2 still going to be our slot CB. Besides Isaiah Simmons, Bo Jackson, Pat Sertain. And actually, Patrick Willis and Tremaine Edmonds can stay here as well because uh, we're going to talk about the X Factor players first. At free safety right here, we are going to go ahead and have Kevin Byard. So Kevin Byard, the big thing on him is he gets pick artist, mid zone, and universal coverage for zero AP. That does take three plays to charge up. Then it's basically on the entire game. He gets universal right here, which is every single KO all in one. Gives reaction time, gives KOs, and he gets pick artist. So he's a perfect free safety right here. He is damn near end game. I know he's not 99 speed, but that is insane. Like we're not spending AP on him. Now it's strong safety right here. We are going to go ahead and have Jair Brown that uh, again, he's going to be one of our lighted up token players. He can get that deep zone KO mid zone and pick artist in total for one AP. So far we've spent one AP on our X factors or and on this defense. And actually right here, we are going to go ahead and who do we want out the lineup? I mean, Tremaine, Pat Willis, it's really just preference at that point, but we're going to go ahead and have Chuck Halley right here. And what I'm going to put on him is universal coverage and he can be up to a 95 overall. We're also going to put universal coverage on him for one AP that's on the entire game. So again, he'll react to everything. He'll be basically a perfect linebacker and again, damn near an end game card. So right now we have perfect KOs at the top safety spot and one linebacker spot and we spent two AP. Now again, cornerback right here, you could potentially spend a little bit, get pick artists as well with Devante or Derwin, or we could go the same route with uh, Rashad Jones, Tariq Wool. And this time we'll switch it up a little bit. We'll go ahead and go Devante Adams that gets deep out zone KO, mid zone and pick artists in total for two AP and someone else that also gets this 
this. Again, we are playing him out of position, but Derwin James also gets that stacked, or you can run flat zone on him for zero AP instead of the uh, pick artist. So in total right now, we have spent six out of our 11 AP. Now, defensive lineman, in my opinion, okay, this is what I would say. If you're running a four down lineman set, I would get versatile defenders right here that could potentially drop into a zone. Uh, zero AP lurk artists on the ends, in my opinion, you could go zero AP, no outsiders, like with Chase Young, Javon Kirst, you know what I'm saying? So, so for me, just as an example, we're going to have like Christian Harris right here. I know he's not necessarily, he might not be the best card for this, but anymore, but zero AP lurk artist right here. And also someone that I still use, I use a uh, Mr. Monday night still right here. I mean, I, I think he fits this role fine. So two versatile defenders right here, decent zone coverage, decent pass rush, decent speed as well. Drop into a zone or can rush the passer. That's one value right here. Now at defensive tackle, however, I want inside stuff. So inside stuff for one AP is all I'm looking for. We can go ahead and again, add Warren Sapp right here. And we can also say add Harrison Phillips that gets uh, inside stuff and interior threat for zero. So that's cool too. So now we spent eight out of our 11 AP. Where is the final three AP going? So this is dependent in my opinion. Again, Chuck Howley, I should say, is dependent if you're running like a 6-1 or sub linebacker type of set. You want mid zone and flat zone on this dude right here. Other linebacker and me personally, I run like a 6-1 style of defense. So that works out for me. Lurk art is mid zone on this guy for sure. I would be one AP. You still have two AP to play with. So you could do a slot CB again, like pick artist mid zone for one. But I would do say Patrick Willis, Tremaine Ebbing to get to the stack two uh, for our final three AP. I would go ahead and go Lurk Artist, Mid Zone, and Flat Zone for 2 AP, just so he gets basically every single KO that you'd want, right? And that's how I'm setting up my defense right now. And that's why I think the coverage X factors are kind of crazy because we just get so many KOs on the field. You know what I'm saying? Something I will say to be on the lookout for when we get outside linebackers that gets Lurk Artist and Mid Zone, right now it's just middle linebackers, but being able to play those guys, like the Lurk Artist Mid Zone guys, a defensive end, and being able to drop them into coverage is going to be kind of crazy so that's the next step i think for this defense specifically like a 6-1 style of set again in dollar uh my outside linebackers are your guys' slot cbs but i wouldn't recommend running like a universal type of coverage on a slot cb i would say just look for a flat zone mid zone and i'd also say potentially like you could run like reinforcement on derwin and like lose some of the ko's that's not crazy too and also right here finally we are going to talk about the special teams special teams all about slow meter so literally bucker dustin hopkins gary anderson as well they literally have no difference they all have the same kick power kick accuracy so just get them they get both the slow meter abilities with zen kicker and focus kicker and punter uh, logan cook has the highest kick power so i guess he is the best for that too but i mean shouldn't really be punting the ball in this game too offensive but yeah boys hope y'all did enjoy this video man hopefully i was able to help you out abilities have changed a ton there's a lot of different setups you could do you could do even more setups than what i said but these are my personal favorite and stuff that i recommend let me know down below in the comments though what your guys's favorite are and if you guys did enjoy the video though you enjoy content like this make Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and also if you guys do want to go ahead and see these uh, abilities in action i stream here on youtube and twitch monday through friday 2 p.m to 6 p.m eastern to watch on the youtube side of things make sure that noti bell as well you'll be notified every time i go live or upload here or to watch on the twitch check the links in the description hit that twitch with a follow but if you guys do want another video to watch check out this one right here because i ranked the best wide receivers in madden 24.